Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching an engineer boy. Alright, so in this video, we'll talk about bearing conversion and specifically, I'll talk about the conversion of WCB into RB or you can say whole circle bearing and to reduce bearing system. But before I start the calculation or the conversion process, make sure you are familiar with these both bearing systems. And if you don't know about these bearing systems, I have already uploaded a separate video about them. You can just watch that before watching this video. I'll put the video link in this video description. All right. So let's go ahead and let's say we are asked to convert the following WCB into RB. And as you can see, we are given four numbers of bearings. All right. So I'll come directly into the solution and in the solution my first approach is going to be the 130 degrees WCB conversion and for this approach let me just draw the directional map. Make sure you are familiar with the directional map which is just the north south in this time okay because we are dealing with the bearings and we we gonna just talk about the meridian line and that is just the of course north south line okay the other lines or you can say the line west east or east west that is just for the reference okay that does not work with the bearings all right so let's talk about this guy now and as you can see we'll just uh, let me just uh, uh, specify the quadrants i'll call the north east quadrant as my first quadrant and make sure that is 90 degrees okay when you start from the north to uh, till the east that's gonna make 90 degrees angle or you can say bearing okay another quadrant that is second quadrant southeast which is going to be 180 degrees okay if you start from the north and another which is southwest that is the third quadrant which can be up to 270 degrees okay when you start it from the north and finally we have 360 degrees when you start from the north and north okay that is four quadrant now let's focus on the first bearing which is given and that is 130 degrees okay when you start from the north remember these bearings are whole circle bearings so we'll always take it from the north okay just again i'm gonna mention that watch that previous video and under to understand this conversion better okay so from the north till east that's gonna be 90 degrees but our bearing which is 130 degrees that is maximum okay are more than 90 degrees okay so i can say that is just little bit more okay and of course it is less than 180 if you start from the north to south that's gonna be 180 degrees and of course that is less than 180 so i'm gonna make sure that is gonna go up to 130 degrees like that okay if you are a little bit familiar with mathematics as well okay so 130 degrees now let's let's just look into the rb of the same line okay reduce bearing can be clockwise and it can be anti-clockwise as well okay we're gonna look to the meridian lines position okay when the line is near to the north we're gonna take it of course from that point and if it's near to the south we're gonna take it from the south and as you can see this time the line is just near to the south so we're gonna take the reduced bearing anti clock from the south like this one okay very simple now how much is the reduced bearing of the same line as you can see the total from the north to the south that is 180 degrees okay so we're gonna just subtract the whole circle bearing of the line which is 130 degrees that's gonna give us of course the reduced bearing of the same line and that is going to be 50 degrees but make sure we also mention and we write the direction of the reduced bearing which in this case we have the southeast okay because that is in the quadrant of southeast all right, that's it. That, that was just number first or one. Now let's go ahead for the second one. That is 60 degrees and 45 minutes. Okay, WCB. 
but how can we draw this WCB? As you can see, we're going to start from the north as this is WCB. So we can say from the north till the east, that's going to be 90 degrees. But it is less than 90 degrees, so we can say it can be up to date. Okay, 60 degrees in 45 minutes. Now, what should be the reduced bearing of the same line? Of course, it must be just near to the meridian line. It must be near to the north or south. But as you can see, it is just much away from the south but it is near to the north so we're gonna take this one okay and as you can see here 60 degrees and 45 degrees is the same as the reduced bearing over here okay so we can say in the first quadrant the reduced bearing is the same thing as the whole circle bearing okay so for the number two which is 60 degree and 45 minutes that's gonna be the same as reduced bearing of the line but we can include the the position or you can say the the direction of the quadrant which is the north south uh sorry it is north east quadrant okay over here make sure it is north east okay that's it another thing which is of course 250 degrees 40 minutes and 30 second wcb how can we draw that as you can see if we start from the north clockwise till the west that is going to be 270 degrees but it is 250 which is less than 270 so it can be up to date okay just like this the drawing is not to scale so do not challenge it over here okay so this red arrow represents the uh, 250 degrees 40 minutes and 30 seconds of the uh, WCB of the same line okay now what should be the reduced bearing of course as you can see this line is near to the south so we're gonna take it from the south like like you can say this one okay very simple okay so how 70 degree and 40 minutes 30 second we're gonna do it as you can see from the north till this line that is 250 degrees 40 minutes and 30 seconds but from the north till the south that is just 80 degrees so we're gonna subtract 80 degrees from the whole circle bearing of the line okay so simple and that's gonna be 70 degrees 40 minutes and 30 seconds very simple okay another which is 360 degrees whole circle bearing as you can see if we start from the north to north that is 360 degrees that means the line is just about the meridian line okay and when a line is about the meridian line that does not make any bearing so that means the whole circle bearing or you can say uh, the bearing of this line can be 0 or 360 degrees okay that means the reduced bearing as well can be 0 or 360 degrees very simple okay because the line is just about the meridian line and we just define the the bearing is the inclination of a line with the meridian line when it does not make any inclination okay which is not making an angle with the meridian line so there is no bearing that's it very simple okay hey if you like these types videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon so you never miss an update from an engineer boy